Okay, so this might be one of the craziest Mac setups you've ever ever seen because you'll be able to use your Mac mini, MacBook Pro, whichever Mac you want just by using your iPhone. Because what's so crazy is you don't actually need to have a keyboard, mouse or trackpad anymore. You can just use your iPhone to navigate on your Mac mini. And I have a little bonus as well because let's say you don't have a display. Well, let me show you a setup that's even crazier. What's up guys, Niels, also known as Apple designer, back with an insane tutorial a video that you're gonna love especially with the release of the new mac mini which is so incredibly small and people are going crazy over it let's dive into the video all right guys so yeah i'm going to exactly show you how you can use your iphone to control your mac basically this thing here can replace your magic keyboard right there and your trackpad or apple magic mouse just have a look i'm just controlling my mac mini here right from my iphone and let me show you step by step how you can do this as well it's really easy to do okay so before we start i'd like to say this is absolutely awesome so we have the new mac mini and it's just incredibly thin and small but yeah if you don't want to bring a keyboard or a magic mouse or trackpad with you but you have your iphone so to start we need to go to safari in safari we need to search for remote mouse.net so that's this website here and as you can see control at your fingertips and just we click on get now we need to install it both on our iphone and on our mac so let's first start by downloading it on our mac and you get redirected to the app store and and here we just gonna straight download it to our Mac. And while that's downloading, we're gonna go to our iPhone. And on our iPhone, we go to the app store and we search for exactly the same name, which is remote mouse. There it is. We just straight download it to our iPhone. Let's open it. And we need to allow the Bluetooth accessibility uh, here because it's connecting to my Mac via Bluetooth. And as you can see here, to get started, you need to install the remote mouse desktop app, which we have done. You can get the downloading. We did that as well. And then we need to install it and run it on our Mac. We need to accept some accessibility accesses and ask for permission. So we're gonna do that. And yeah, it's connected via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Um, okay, I got it. Let's allow to find this on our local network. So right now it's not detecting the computer because we didn't open it yet on on our Mac so let's do that right now let's open it and boom as you can see it immediately recognized my new Mac mini so let's connect as you can see you get a small tutorial on how this works you can tap on the left to just do a left click you can tap with two fingers to do a right click then you can scroll up and down by using two fingers pinch or spread to zoom which is only for mac but this is really nice and lastly with three fingers you have the possibility to drag windows around so i think we should be good to go so you also have some buttons and some neat menus here in the bottom so yeah mouse button icon to show corresponding panel with the toolbar um, swipe left to right to see more our slider here on the right and that's about it so let me show you briefly how this works let's get rid of our keyboard here and let's get also rid of our trackpad so we don't need that because we're gonna do everything on the iphone here together with the mac mini for example let's close this window because we don't need that anymore so we simply click up one time and let's go for example to youtube on safari and to do this have we need to type somewhere and there's an integrated keyboard here in this bottom menu here so that's uh, this one and here we can also even use the swipe gestures and here for example let's do a youtube just like that as you can see it found youtube we have our return here to enter and boom just like that we're going straight to youtube how awesome is that but there is absolutely more what's really cool here is there's so much more to do here in the bottom for example if we click on our dock here we can see all the apps that we have on our own dock as well so for example let's open settings just like that immediately settings is open we can just remove this again very simple as mentioned in the tutorial you can use three fingers to drag windows let me show you that so with three fingers i'm able to move this a window around like it's just pure magic next what you can also do is open the function keys here so you can for example only use 
use numbers and use add delete and all that kind of stuff if we go here to the right we have this on and off button also let me briefly show you the gestures uh, that we just saw so let's get rid of the keyboards so for example how we can just navigate our mouse like that then pressing with two fingers was right click so let's do that for example on a camera lens as you can see here you can see it's opening up the menu let's try that again maybe on the desktop just like that two fingers you can see here change wallpaper edit widget or anything then the other one was moving windows around with three fingers so as you can see three fingers and moving my window next we had pinched to zoom as so that was this and as you can see it's zooming out and here we zoom in like how crazy is this um, and then lastly we had dragging up and down with two fingers to scroll here we're scrolling up and down using two fingers and lastly we could use the bar on the side to scroll as well just like that scrolling up and down and then i'd also like to show you this really crazy one and that is that you can actually control some some vital actions from your mac so you can shut down sleep restart and log off so let's start with sleep you want to put your computer to sleep let's do that and bomb it's sleeping just like that and now let's get it back on and lastly i'd like to show you that you can actually restart your mac from this app so let's click restart are you sure you want to restart your computer now let's click restart and well just like that it's going to restart the mac there it is so there are some downsides of using this app and that is of course that you need to unlock your Mac first to be able to use it. That's pretty annoying. So right now I need to type in my passcode again and then I need to open the app again on my Mac. So what you could do is you could let it launch automatically when you start your Mac. That helps already and as you can see it automatically recognizes uh, that the app is live and that I can use it. Yeah, there are still some limitations here but overall the the idea of just having your Mac mini for example or any other Mac and then just completely control it through your iPhone is just game changing. I really hope this is something Apple will maybe introduce natively into Mac OS and iOS. And to take things even further, I have the Rainio Air 2S's here. These glasses are absolutely amazing. And let's say you don't have a display with you, you only have your Mac mini and your iPhone, then let's see what happens if we connect our Rainio Neo, which basically is an external display to our Mac Mini. So we're gonna disconnect here the studio display. Boom, it's gone, it's still running, so no worries. And now connect my Rainio Air 2 Asus through the Thunderbolt in the back. And then let's see, and now I have this screen in front of me. You can't see this, let me show you how this looks. So there's the screen. I mean, how awesome is this setup? You can just take your Mac Mini with you, bring your Rainio Air 2S's, and then your iPhone to control everything. Let me show you that you can actually control your iPhone with these glasses on. So hopefully you're able to see this a bit. Here it is. Just using, as you can see, my iPhone in the back. And let's watch this YouTube video. Let's click on it. Boom. There's even audio as you can hear. I mean, how awesome is this? I would really appreciate it that if this was helpful, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my other videos like these.